Hi, today we're going to be talking about some jazz piano concepts. And the first one I want to share with you is the idea of reading lead sheets. Instead of having all the notes spelled out for you on the page, basically what you're going to see is what we have here on the piano. And that is a, a copy of the melody and some chord changes that are written over the melody. And then you, as a performer, get to decide how do you want to uh, interpret those. So you, it gives you a little more artistic license and freedom to, to do with it what you will. Now, of course, there's some parameters with that, and we're going to talk about those as we go through the video series. Uh, the first concept I want you to look at that will help you uh, know how to do those chord changes is chord qualities. And what we're going to do is take a look at the different types of chord qualities we deal with initially. The first one is just a um, major seven chord quality. And if we start on the note C, then we get this chord. Okay, so if you listen to that chord, we have the C, the E, the G, and the B natural, which, get, which gives us the major seven chord. It's, it's all of the notes right out of the C scale. And we get the C major seven chord. We're going to use that chord quite a bit. If we lower the highest note, the seventh, by a half step, then we're going to have C, E, G, and B flat. And that chord, we're going to call a dominant seven chord. And we're going to use that chord quality probably more than any other chord in jazz music. When we get to the blues that we're going to talk about later, it's all, all of the blues pretty much is made up of that chord, the dominant chord. And then finally, if we lower the third note of the chord from E to E flat, then we get um, a minor seven chord. And again, we're going to use that chord quite a bit in, in uh, the pieces that we're playing in jazz, but not as much probably as the dominant seven chord. Okay, so if you take any other key, let's go to the key of F. We play the root, the third, the fifth, and the seventh in the key of F. That gives us our major seven chord. So any, any key you're in, you can still find those, those um, parts of the chord. Again, if we lower the seventh from E to E flat, there is our dominant seven chord. And then if we lower the third of the chord, we get our minor seven chord. So primarily the, the pieces that we're going to be working on initially use those three um, chord qualities, the major seven chord, the dominant seven chord, and the minor seven chord. I would encourage you to learn those in every key possible, and then we'll, we'll look at how to incorporate them in combination in all of the keys. Good luck.